Here's something I'm doing. This is a Sony Handycam HDR CX405. It's not coming in very clear. Anyway, the point of the matter is there is no input for an external microphone. So if you want to use one of these portable or you know uh, transmitter and receiver microphone systems, this one I bought off of eBay after doing some YouTube surfing to see what people say is a good buy and what works good for the money. I got this. I'm no professional by any means, so I wasn't going to spend a ton of money. This was $89 shipped from eBay, and I think it's called Ceremonic. There's the model number. So it it's a good buy. It's it's rated well. You can spend over a thousand dollars on these things. Anyway, moving on. My point is, so I have the the parts, and I knew this before I bought it that I was going to be facing this. The camera has no input for the receiver, which normally there's there's a cord which came with the these two guys. There's a a cord with two of these ends on it. One goes in the receiver. One goes in the camera. Some people take these cameras apart and weld in, uh, I should say, solder in plugs so you can plug this in. Either it's uh, right in the camera or it's a, or a little cord that hangs out. Uh, it's a risky operation. You got to take the thing apart, which you could have trouble with right there and ruin something. And, uh, you know, soldering irons overheat and motherboards and whatnot. So if it's really for the person that's really good with that kind of stuff. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to take, you see that the two speaker uh, microphone ports, I should say, right there. And that's where the sound goes into the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use earbuds. And I'm going to make a way that they go right in front of each microphone on each thing like that without damaging the camera at all. So I haven't tested this, haven't tried it, this is just the first shot at it. So I'm going to make it and we'll see how it works. Okay, so here's what I got so far. I used uh, plexiglass to make this little sled or whatever. And uh, as you see, this rigged up a little bolt to hold it to the camera. Made a big slot. So you can loosen that and slide it forward, adjust it back and forth. Uh, the, the mics right now are really, the speakers I should say, are really close to the mics in the camera. If they're not close enough, I could always grind away a little more of the front, where the front shows, uh, where the camera looks through the front, and you know, obviously, round it out so the camera doesn't see the bottom of it or look right through the plexiglass. If it's not enough and it doesn't work, I'll take some more away so it slides uh, closer to the camera. It's really close right now. It's say about 3 sixteenths or an eighth and uh, it might be plenty but I wanted to leave as much material towards uh, around the hole as possible. If I shave it out a little more it's going to get a little weaker around the hole. So you see the earbuds are in there and uh, this apparatus here is also if you're not holding up a hand uh, you can put it on your tripod and go through there. So that's probably what I'm going to do when we test it in a couple minutes. So we're going to give it a test. So this is good a place as any to do our test with the wireless microphone and uh, the receiving end is hanging on the camera right now with the earbuds plugged into it. I have it plugged into the, uh, the headphone jack, like if someone was at the camera listening, they would listen to it. And there's another port on there that if you had a plug on your camera, it would plug right to there. So I'm actually using the one that's supposed to go to your ears because it's, it's kind of not direct. It's kind of two speakers in front of two microphones. And so I'm just going to walk away, and I guess I'm about 15 feet right now. So the range is, we'll just check the range and see how well it works. If I don't fall down and bust my butt in the snow. And, I mean, right now, I'm pretty far away. So if it can still hear me, fine. 
and there's a volume on it for the out for uh, like I said we're using the headphone plug on there so there's an adjustable volume so you, I guess I'd have to tinker with that to get the volume right from the speakers from the earbuds to the microphone so uh, this is a test uh, concludes it concludes a test and uh, thanks for watching